All right, all right. You know this Cat X is riding dirt. Riding it well, too. Lauren. Superb riding, so fun on the dirt. Anyways, all right, let's get back on the on the real site here. So, I figured I'd share with you something I found in the local library, and it's not the rule of large numbers. Although, this is pretty good, I, I took a listen to it. And he gives like some basic good advice about, you know, living life and stuff like this. We're going downhill way too fast. So, So there's this other book that I found. It's like a little library. It's uh, it's really just like a big mailbox, and it's outside, like in the neighborhood. And uh, you can just go like put books that you don't want, or go grab books for free. It's like an exchange thing. And so that's where I found that rule of large numbers. You know, and mainly the basic rule of large number is, I do more. And then essentially that's that's what it says. Do more. So. Either whether it's an extra mile on your bike or even get out on your bike or to cook dinner, talk to your mom on the phone, listen to music, and do some cardio workouts. That's the rule of large numbers. It's do more. So it's a, it's a great little idea. I think it's kind of just like a random one off of this guy talking on his six audio CDs. But overall, I found it entertaining to listen to. Complimented, of course, by NPR. Okay, but let's get back to it. I'm also not talking about those holiday seasonal cliff bars, which I know you love. Hi, I know he probably wants one too. That guy right there, he wants one. See, everyone wants one. Hi. So these are the seasonal cliff bars. They're good, the hot chocolate, the pumpkin spice. There's another one, but it was so good I ate it already. One thing I don't like about those cliff bars though, is they always put the little extra icing on top. And it's like, that's cheating, you know? It's like, of course it's gonna taste good. It's that icing all over the top. So, I like the ones that don't need that. Hi. So, the other thing is, yes, it's November. We're growing out that, that manscape. We're growing it and we're taking care of it. You know, we're trying to do our best. We're trying to do our best to look nice, look fresh and look easy, you know, like, like it's so easy, you would want one of these too, you know? It's not all scraggly. And the best way to do that is with a little bit of beard oil, okay? So use that Beardscape beard oil. I got the Eucalyptus brand, and this is really gonna, gonna maintain your beard and provide a nice scent. And just use a little dropper, a couple, six, six drops every eight hours or so, you're gonna feel nice, hi. So that's, that's a huge benefit to keeping this on your face and looking good and not telling everyone telling you when are you gonna shave when are you gonna shave that beard oil it makes it smell nice it brings up friendly feelings and friendly comforts with those around you and they're gonna enjoy your beard go ahead and use uh, the hairy cyclist promo code i put that in the description down below a little bit I know it's not free nothing is and the last thing I got a joke for you because in that library I was telling you about hey in that library I was telling you about I found this book go away cliff bars okay I found this book about writing jokes I was like perfect you know I could use that I haven't been that funny these days you know I'm not rambling every day now so that's why you get a five minute segment today okay so I found, you know, this book, I, I wouldn't write jokes from it, but I would read it for jokes. So that's what I did. I, I bookmarked a couple pages for you. And right here, yeah, speaking of oil, it actually, there's a joke on oil. So it says, if peanut oil comes from peanuts and olive oil comes from olive, where does babe oil come from? Or in that case, where does beard oil come from? Well. It's a rhetorical question, you don't need it. Yeah, let's not go there. And then, this other one, 
Uh, I kind of talked. Okay, so Obum said to me, I haven't eaten in three days. And I said, Force yourself. Get it? It's like the bum's not hungry. It's just like they're doing. I, you know, it's like, it's like, what it's kind of saying there is like, of course the bum would eat, but it, it's kind of reversing it. And so it talks about a lot of those tricks. It talks about puns. It talks about having fun. It talks about different, the setup, the punchline, the anticipation, blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. I don't really use it, but it's in the book and you could use it. So that's the second. That's the vertical with the wreath on the front. Nice.